or say hey guys it's Klaus welcome back to another video let's launch a game here today you get to watch me play that's right uh, while you get to watch my mediocre playstyle, uh, let me rant a little bit about well a few things some key things that I think are not good for this game that are hurting this game and uh, let me talk about those, and I'm not just going to rant, uh, uh, it's not going to be a, a, these are all the things I hate about World of Tanks rant video. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about some of the key things that I think are really hurting this game, and then I'll give you my uh, no bullshit opinion on how I would fix it, how, how I would improve the game. Oh, that's serious stuff there. But before we get into it, it's important, I guess, to put it all in perspective and know that I guess it's safe to say that everyone uh, watching this video, or the majority of you watching this video, or the majority of you that uh, play this game, are doing it uh, as a form of entertainment. You're trying to have fun, right? Uh, you enjoy playing the game? <laughs> are you already rolling your eyes? Well, it's important also to note that uh, entertainment and enjoyment are all relative. Everyone uh, enjoys things differently or is entertained differently. Some of you are very serious about uh, your performance in the game. Some of you are in clans and are very competitive uh, in the game. Some of you just want to play for fun and play casually. There's the whole spectrum of uh, people out there that, uh, that enjoy or participate in their own way uh, and enjoy the game. Now, but I think it's safe to say that uh, all of us um, in one way or another, from our perspective, uh, play the game because we enjoy it. Uh, whatever your definition is of enjoy. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to point out things that I think uh, ruin the enjoyment for all of us. And it's important to distinguish between... I'm not going to rant about, uh, oh, I hate this, I hate the wheeled vehicles, I don't like the spotting mechanics, uh, I wish they wouldn't have introduced that uh, Japanese heavy line with the, with the AG. See, there's a difference. I'm going to try and um, uh, make a difference here. This is a, a, a game that we play, and uh, Wargaming makes this game, and they program this game, and they have uh, every th all the aspects of the game, how it works, the mechanics, the tanks. That's up to them. They provide the product. They provide the game, and we play because we enjoy it. And uh, so I'm not going to rant about, oh, they should change this game because I don't like this or this or this about the game. That's not what this video is about. Although a lot of you have a lot of opinions on how they could change the game. Get rid of this, replace that, make this different, change this map. You know, that's besides the point. Those are, uh, not besides the point, but those are individual uh, opinions of what your preferences are and what you uh, what you like and what you don't like. And it you can't please everyone. Everyone's going to have a different opinion. So let's put that aside. And I'm going to try and point out what I think are uh, three things that I believe we can all agree on. Despite the game mechanics and the game itself. Three things that I think uh, are more uh, to do with the behavior of the player base. That annoy us. That, that are not good for the game. That ruin the game. Alright. And number one. Uh, you probably guess it, uh, team damage. Uh, the ability to shoot your own teammates and uh, inflict damage. Why is that in the game? Well, why is it in the game? Uh, initially, I, I think it's in the game because the developers felt that, that this is a competitive battle type game and sometimes uh, you accidentally do shoot a, a, a teammate and in the heat of the battle during a brawl, uh, you may make a mistake and hit a teammate and the enemies capitalize that and it's you know part of the mechanic and uh, I think it was intended in that way. But uh, of course what uh, what happens in some cases is, is, is people just <laughs> purposely team damage teammates for for the fun of it to you know because they get off on shooting uh, their teammates and uh, someone who's very serious about the game and uh, worried about their uh, performance and is uh, particularly interested in three marking a tank or enjoying the game in their own way that another guy shows up and says oh, I enjoy the game by shooting my own teammates ha 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 and I think we can all agree that uh, uh, team damage we all hate it. We all hate it, right? That 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 ruins the game. So what what should they do? And uh, I suggested this a while ago, and um, 
when the channel was small and a lot of you didn't uh, weren't subscribed and maybe didn't watch but one of my uh, uh, ideas was if you're going to keep team damage in the game if you want it to be part of the game other than just removing it that's one solution is just remove the ability to do team damage they did that in front lines and it works fine i think the probably the, the best solution is just get rid of team damage like you know what are you waiting for get rid of it but if you don't want to get rid of it if you want to keep it as part of the uh the way the game works then at least make the penalty uh, for team damage uh, meaningful because now when you go shoot someone one two three times and then maybe you turn blue so you stop at the end of the game at the, you know you get a fine of two or three thousand credits and the other guy gets uh, his repair cost paid for. like so what that's that, that's no deterrent to doing team damage i proposed well if you're going to shoot someone uh, maybe a voice should sound as soon as you have inflicted uh, please do not shoot your teammates you have been uh, assessed a penalty and if you shoot them again uh, the pen and I'm talking about a meaningful penalty like you shoot someone and maybe it's a hundred thousand credits you shoot someone uh, again and the penalty uh, goes up to five hundred thousand credits you shoot someone three times goes up to a million credits so that if you're uh, uh, incessant team killer team damage you'll go broke you can't play and then some of you pointed out oh Klaus you can't do that because um, because some people will abuse that uh, some people will go out and purposely team damage a friend so that uh, they will get all those credits the penalties right there's always a way of abuse and I thought yeah you're probably right but the the penalty doesn't have to go to the party inflicted the party inflicted could still get their uh, repair cost paid for if you're going to keep team damage in the in the game, make the penalties huge, and make all that uh, all those credits go into a bank. So let's say you're a, you're a team killing asshole and you shoot someone three times. At the end of the game, when you get your report, it says you've been court-martialed. You've uh, uh, inflicted this damage on your teammates. You've been fined 1.5 million credits. Those credits go into a bank that they can keep track of. And how about this as an idea? The, the people that play the game that, uh, you know, what's that medal you get when you play 50 games without inflicting damage on your teammates? I don't even know what it's called because I probably never got it. But uh, you, you're really careful and you, you're you a good teammate, whatever the medal's called. Those guys, as soon as they win that medal for playing 50 games without damaging their own teammates, they get a, a, a payout. Hey, you've won this medal. You haven't done any team damage for 50 games. Here's a million credits. So... A way of uh, taking the money from the assholes and giving it to the good players or the the gentlemen. But uh, I think the easiest way is just to eliminate team damage because you know, there's always going to be some. You don't you won't get rid of it unless you eliminate it. That's number one. I think we can all agree on that. Team damage, get rid of it. Number two, little thing, and it's so little you're wondering why is it on the list, but it is enraging. The pinging, the pinging, ping, 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 ping. The pinging after you die. You're playing the game. Ping, 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 ping. I died. Look at me. I'm dead. Ping, ping, ping. I'm pinging you. You are still alive. Ping, 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 ping. You, why are you here? Ping, 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 ping. You should be over there. Oh, my God. I want to reach through the, the screen and, and strangle them. I, I know, I know. You just uh, left click on the name, block, blah, blah. But you're playing the game. I'm playing this... Uh, wheeled vehicle if i take my fingers off the controls uh do left click uh, look at there's a list of 30. i have to scroll down find the guy left click but i smash into flip myself over and die. sometimes you can't in the heat of the battle it's just enraging it, it uh it just raises the stress level of everyone in the game to incessant pinging three pings you get three pings and then there's a uh, 15 second timeout you try your fourth ping it says you have uh, already used up your three pings you can start pinging again in 15 seconds when you die maybe you get one or two or three pings that's it in world of warships you can't ping after you died the people have this incessant need to to ping 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 especially when they suck and they die so screw that, get rid of the pinging. That's easy, or, or, or a pinging break. 
Now, these are simple ideas, right? But I think that to, that pinging just raises the stress level, which just makes everyone enraged sometimes. All 15 people, you know, if there's or 20 people, no, not 20. <laughs> Let's say the, the first guy that dies, the 14 guys that are left that have to endure the pinging sometimes for the whole game. Holy shit. The third thing, the third thing, uh, and this one is my, I, I believe this, and you, you may or may not agree, but uh, these freaking mod packs, okay? I just don't get it. Uh, XVM, I'm going to uh, key in on, well, there's a lot of the mod pack with the, the XVM and the zoom out and this and that. Let's concentrate on XVM. I do not know anything else that has promoted toxicity in this game like X fucking VM. It is incredible, uh, unbelievable to me that uh, it, it's that you can have it. Well, what is XVM? It's it's part of a stupid mod pack that, uh, and um, one of the things it shows on your screen would be the the ratings of all the players, not the war gaming ratings, not the uh, average XP for battle or your your personal rating or your win rate. Well, it does show win rate, but it uh, a third party measurement of your performance called the WN8. Uh, which is a, a different calculation that ranks players based on a formula that has nothing to do with what the game's about. Uh, it doesn't. The formula doesn't include uh, spotting a system. It's just a third-party uh, formula that, for some reason, has been adopted uh, by the player base. As, oh, what's your WN8? Your WN8's 800. My WN8's 1200. I can see it on the screen because I downloaded XVM. Look at my team. This, you have a lower WN8 than me. You suck. Why? Get good. Just the, the toxicity that, uh, that this having WN8 displayed on your screen, color coded. This is what it does. You have your list of players are color coded. The purple ones, the blue ones, the green ones, the red ones. So that if you're a blue player and you're on a team that has mainly red players, you can immediately be upset before the game starts. And I know, I know some of you are saying, well, I have XVM and I, you know, I, I like to have it, uh, but I'm not toxic. Now, why do you have it? Well, I know why you have it. You, no one can uh, deny you have it because you, you use it. How do you use it? You look at your list and you say, oh, look at this guy. He sucks. Uh, he's moving up to attack those guys. Uh, I'm not going to go help him because uh, he, he's uh, ranked as a 580 uh, WN8 and I'm a 1412. So screw him. Right? Or you're playing artillery and you download the mod pack uh, so that you can. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, there's these two guys in the open that I could shoot. This guy is a 1242 WN8 and this guy's a 2218. Let me shoot him. So you can, you know, make the. The good player is miserable because everyone that plays artillery uh, uh, downloads uh, XVM. I, I do not understand how uh, uh, this shit, and uh, le let me keep going here. Like, there are uh, ambassadors of the game that promote their own mod pack that has this shit in it. Uh, why? Why? Because, let me speculate, because... They want to use it, and it's um, uh, gives them an advantage. I've watched some uh, uh, of the Unicom streamers play. They got the mod pack uh, loaded, so they've got the zoom out mod, uh, and they're they're playing, uh, and they're purple, right? And then uh, they're coming up, and they see that the, uh, there's an enemy who's behind a house, and he's red. Like they can see that on their screen. Oh, I'm approaching this uh, red gentleman, and. Uh, so, so then they use their zoom out mod. They zoom out uh, 50 times farther than the poor red guy can because the red guy's just started playing. And he's behind the house and he's peering to the left, waiting to, you know, he's protecting the left side. And, uh, you know, the mod pack, uh, let's zoom out 50 times. Oh, he's looking left. I'll go to the right. Come around the right, shoot him. Back up. The poor guy turns around, starts facing the right. Let's zoom out 50 times farther than... Uh, uh, everyone else can. Oh, he's on the right side now. I'll go on the left. Take him out easily. Yeah. Did you enjoy your game? You're a tomato. Like, is is that the the reason that the, you have the mod pack? Yeah, I know. It's it's allowed. 
by wargaming. I know that. And my point is why? Why is it allowed? Uh, is, is someone making money um, uh, supplying the the mod pack to the community? Does um, does Wargaming make money on XVM, on WN8? Do they somehow profit from uh, uh, the use of this stuff? I don't know. But I'll tell you, uh, like you're going to play checkers uh, with your family uh, and, and some friends on, uh, on an occasion. And you get out the checkers board and you put the pieces out there and you're going to play your nephew. And you have a mod pack on your checkers game and it, it tells you, uh, oh, your nephew is ranked as a uh, 842 level a checkers player. And you are a 1946 level player as a checkers player. And you look at your nephew and you say, well, you suck. I'm not playing you, you suck. And he says, what do you mean? Let's play. No, uh, you, you suck. I don't suck. You suck. Fuck you. Like, is that how you play games? Is that why we play games? Right, to immediately be toxic uh, before it starts. And I, um, I believe that uh, uh, XVM WN8, in, like I don't care if WN8 exists. You can go check it. That may be one way you're monitoring your performance. Fine. Some people are so obsessed with it that uh, it's become kind of a meta for uh, some players to um, change their, the way they play to try and get the WN8 number higher. Like seriously, to, to not play the game with the intent of playing and winning as a team. To play the game with the intent of, of getting the WN8 number higher. And talking about it as they play. Now what you want to do in this situation is uh, that we, I could win if I go there and take those shots and take these two guys out and then my team. But I don't want to do that because I may die and that would be bad for my WN8. So what I'll do is I'll get the initial spots and uh, that goes into the WN8 formula. So I'll, I'll get a little bit of a boost there. And then I'll come back here and just, uh, oh, my team, I can notice that these two guys are red because uh, they suck. So I'll let them uh, spot for me. I'll farm some. Da oh, we've lost, but I, I racked up 4,800 damage. That was a good WN8 game for me. It has changed some of the, it has changed the way some people, a lot of people play. <laughs> Does that sound right to you? Uh, so Wargaming, why is it, why, uh, why do we have uh, mod packs with uh, shit in them? And don't give me this bullshit that, um, oh, well, uh, it's a mod pack, it's a mod, if it's good for the game, then we'll incorporate it into the game. That's how we, you know, we, if there's a good mod, we, like, fuck off. The zoom out mod has been out for years. If you wanted to incorporate it in the game, it'd be incorporated in the game. You, you don't need this sh mod pack shit bullshit crap that, that's been in the game for two, three, four years. People using it for whatever advantage. Uh, you know, oh, maybe we'll incorporate it if it's a good mod. Shut up. You know, it'd take a week if you wanted to. Oh, that's a good mod. Let's put it in. No, that, that's, that argument is just bullshit. It's in the game. I don't know why it's in the game. It baffles me beyond. I have no idea how uh, Wargaming would have a game with all the uh, uh, all the, the, the calculations and the, uh, the, the, the complexities and all the programming and everything that get, goes involved to make this game and then just allow, well, let's just let people uh, download some other stuff. Uh, as well you know we'll have a list of what's legal and what's not legal and I know if you're using them you say well that's not disallowed so I don't want to be at a disadvantage and a lot and you should you should everyone should fucking download the the mod packs and abuse them because uh, if they're gonna let you do it you know, why not do it right that that's but that doesn't happen it, it creates a um, polarization in the player base because it goes back to the first thing I said Enjoyment is relative. Some people are playing the game. Their definition, uh, their perspective of enjoyment is to roll out and have some fun. Others' definition of enjoyment is to be very serious and I really want my statistics to be good and I'll do everything to my advantage and uh, I'll, I'll download this mod pack but that way I'll know who sucks on my team. Right? And I know some of you are saying, well, I don't abuse it. I just, I like to know that information. I don't want to be at a disadvantage. And that's fine. But uh, there are some people that if, if I've seen it immediately toxic in the first five seconds because uh, they know there's two people on their team that they're just, why am I on this team with those people who suck? 
exchanging messages, berating each other. It is my uh, belief that uh, having WN8 and this XVM bullshit in the game has single-handedly raised the tension and toxicity of this game more than almost anything. And I can understand the motivation of anyone, uh, especially uh, uh, people who, um, who are well-known that have uh, large followings that can use this shit and like pretend that oh, I'm just, you know, it's just uh, suited to my play style or whatever the fuck, uh, that can't understand that uh, not everyone uh, views the game in the way, in the serious manner of performance that they do and how much of a increase in toxicity that this bullshit uh, introduces into the game. That's my point of view. And uh, this is the no bullshit channel where I go out on a limb and I tell you what I actually believe. Um, you know, I don't just uh, sugarcoat it and make it up. That's what I think. And I know a lot of you will not agree with me. And I'm not saying that uh, if you use uh, XVM and uh, you have W and 8 on your screen and you have the zoom up mode, I'm not saying you're a bad person. Don't take it personally. I'm saying that it is not part of the game mechanic. It's not part of the programming of the game and the, uh, the, the game that Wargaming provides us that we all enjoy playing. It's a third party separate thing that's there that I believe increases toxicity, polarizes the player base. There's no end of uh, uh, arguments and discussions on the forum about it. Y you can't deny that, uh, th that it pisses a lot of people off. All right, that's, that's, uh, those are the three things. And it's, wh when you try and uh, make suggestions, I've learned this uh, as well in life, is you can't list 500 things. You can't say, Wargaming, I hate your game. These are the 500 reasons why, and you should change all these. Because they'll just say, fuck off, right? Go play something else. You can't. If there's 500 things you don't like, then go play something else. There are 500 things I like about this game. I just showed you some battles on the, the grand battles, uh, the front lines, the new... I, I love the game. Most of you people love the game, and that, that's all relative too, right? Some people love the game is because it gives you that adrenaline rush and makes you excited. Some people because it's uh, relaxing to play and you don't care if, you're own, if you win or not. Remember, there's that full spectrum, but I think it's important when you try and suggest changes that you keep it simple, stupid. Those three things, the team damage, get rid of it, the pinging, limit it, and don't allow people to have fucking XVM, zoom out, and uh, uh, WN8. Get rid of those three things. It, if you're scared about doing that because so much of the player base now has a, the mod pack, or, or I don't know why you'd be scared of removing team damage and, and pinging and shit. You've even hinted that you would do it. Uh, just get... Get rid of those three things to try it in one uh, region. Try it in North America. We're small. We're irrelevant. You know, don't keep Russia and Europe going the way they are. Do a test in North America. Just get rid of those three things. I guarantee, I guarantee that if you released a patch where you just got rid of those three things in, in North America, you would uh, be revered as heroes. There would be widespread applause. Uh, there would be thousands of, uh, of articles in the in the forums uh, just praising you saying I, they, I can't believe they've they've done it way to go wow I they're actually listening to the player base now I can't believe it try it it try it um, the other thing is by not doing any war gaming it takes you so freaking long to do everything right you even at the end of last year hinted that you would remove team damage and make some changes you had that little video uh, you know that foreshadowed these things is it going to take one or two or three years that because the fact that it takes so long it it gives people the perception that th they're not doing it they, they never do it it takes so freaking long it gives the perception that you actually uh, promote you agree, uh, the team damage, the pinging, we, we don't care about that. We like that. The, you're in action. You're n not doing anything about it is, is like saying, well, yeah, we, do, we, we like that. It gives that perception. Doing nothing means it gives a widespread perception that, well, uh, they like it like that. 
And I know you're uh, interested in uh, more the revenue uh, portion of the game or the hundred other things that you're wor working on, but holy shit. Now, such a simple, uh, simple little few changes that you could make that uh, have nothing to do with uh, uh, the way the, the core of the game should work. You know, removing team damage. That's not going to ruin the, the gameplay. You've tried it in front lines already. The pinging, like, come on, just get rid of that. Uh, having everyone w with W and 8 raging and berating each other because, you know, you want to focus the good players and shit on the uh, the bad players according to a third-party statistic. You get rid of that, doesn't doesn't change your game. It just probably relieves some tension and some stress and, and decreases the toxicity. I guarantee it would. And I have no idea why... Uh, it's it's not like top of the agenda. Just uh, just give it a shot. Try it on the North American server. Okay, give it a shot in one uh, uh, micro patch and see what happens. Anyways, I've I've gone on long enough. I had to do one of these videos now. The channel's grown a little bit. Maybe some more people will watch it. Someone's got to talk about this shit, right? Because hey, you guys are here because you probably uh it, enjoy the game that's why you're watching world of tanks content on youtube because you play you want to get better you want to enjoy it you want to watch it you know we, we all love the game that's my no bullshit uh rant on how they could improve it let me know what you guys think in the comments and uh yeah thanks for watching